How's it going, guys? And welcome back to Manor Lords, where today we're going to be picking up slightly after where we left off in the last one, and we are going to be going through and getting ready to get our Burgage plots to level three. Now, I've wanted to do this for a little while, but there's also another thing that we need to do as well. In order to get our Burgage plots to level three, I need to start doing a couple extra things. I need to get, well, one, this fuel supply thing figured out because I'm still having a problem with that, but I also need to go through, get more clothing supply, meaning I need to get a cow put in and we need to get our church upgraded and finally we're going to need to get our tavern built now in order to get a tavern i am going to need around a thousand influence so i need to try to push all i can to try to get as much influence as i can by going through and ga gaining like tithe conquering brigands which guys guess what it's going to happen in about 16 days 15 days we're going to get attacked and then also um, by going through and upgrading churches and upgrading the manor. So I'm going to start off today by going through and doing a couple of different things. I'm going to start off by building some burgage plots right away to get us started. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to go along this way per se. I, yeah, let's see if I can go from straight above here. And let's say come out to about there. I'm going to make these burgage plots a little bit longer than the other ones that I was doing. Okay, I'm going to bring that to about there. And then I should be able to bring that to about there. I'm going to rotate this around. You see that these are way, way longer. That's because the longer that this is, the more extra things like uh, food and other such that you can actually get for doing this. And now I'm going to go through and I'm going to remove these until we have the little spots right next to all of them so it looks like we're gonna one two three four five houses there again which is 10 families i'm gonna go ahead and get that built and now i want to go back out and while they're building that uh the raiders are near so in other words the raiders are somewhere i don't know where they are yet but the raiders are somewhere and i'm gonna need to wipe them out especially if they come to attack me now i don't know where they're going to come from but they will, I think they're going to attack me at some point. It says, prepare for the attack. Raiders near, zero days out of zero. Okay, well, I'm sure we'll find them somewhere. A band of raiders is seen near. Where? Oh. Oh, there they are. Oh, brigands. Outlaws, outlaws. 18 each. And they're going to make their way. Okay, so they're down here. And they're going to make their way up to me up over here. Okay. Well, let's wait for them. Let's wait for them. I'm not really worried about it. I'm not super duper concerned about the the raiders, honestly. Uh, but we're going to wait for them a little bit. Ooh, I'm excited for five more burned plots. I'm going to fast forward. And then I'm just going to zoom out. I'm going to watch these guys carefully. Are they going to build a camp? Or are they? Okay, so they are making their way. Mission completed, Raiders near. Yep. Effectiveness 98%, 91, 96. So, okay, so they are becoming effective and less effective? I don't understand. Maybe they're getting tired? But it does look like that they're making their way to my, my area. So, let's go through and let's slow down time. I'm going to go to my army. I'm going to click create new unit. I'm going to create a militia unit. Got it. So, I have... 20 of them. Okay. And then I'm going to rally them. And I'm going to put them down over here, I guess. And then I'm also going to grab my retinue. Ooh, I can customize them. Oh, hey, look at that. That's pretty cool. What's up, guys? Your shields are crap. Can I give you a different shield? Because that shield is 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 tr is trash, honestly. It's beyond trash. Okay. Thomas. Lorenz. Ah, see? Hans has got a good shield. You got a great shield. I like your hat, too. Can I give you guys a different hat, though? Well, that seems to be, like, the most protective that you can get. Um... Oh, I can change your block. Good. Yeah, you don't need that. And weapon-wise, a hammer, a sword. Ooh. Yeah, give him an axe. A little chainmail. 
I think it's going to be the chain mail for me. Um, I'm going to... Ooh, upgrading the armor? Armor? Treasury costs 17. So I need to put money into my treasury in order to upgrade that. Ooh, and he's going to be able to upgrade too. I see. I see. All right. So for now, uh, good, good enough. And I think... All right, let's see. Where is my army? Did they rally up? I'm fairly certain I called them to action. These guys are about to get into our area. We're ready to rally. Okay. I'm going to pull these guys out. I'm going to say, come here. Moving your units, select units with the mouse, left mouse button, and then click and drag to... Okay. All right, all right, all right. Right mouse button. Got it. Good to know. Good to know. All right. The combat strength the union spends on many factors. Stances. Check the army tab below to set them all with have pros and cons. Morale, the willingness to fight, fatigue, and then effectiveness. Got it. All right. I need you... To rally up right here. Okay. There goes them. Fantastic. So there's my 20 units. Alright, where are the brigands? No, for real. Where did they go? Uh-oh. Alright, here. Slow down time. I need to find these guys. They were right over here. They must be in these trees now. Alright, here, let me go like this, grab these guys. And then let me... Missile alert, give ground, stand your ground. Stand your ground. And I'm gonna line them up like that. Okay, now where is the enemy? They should be here somewhere. They were coming from, like, right here. Unless they just stopped. I don't... I don't see them. Let me go ahead and fast forward time here. There they are. There they are. Okay, they came out of the woodwork. Okay. So. There's one enemy unit. There's the other enemy unit. Okay, so they're both in there, making their way over. What's this guy doing? Oh, he's just a wanderer. Okay. Alright, do they just automatically start fighting? Alright, there we go. Move in. Enemy unit spotted, that's okay. Get right in there. Are we winning? I don't I don't know if we're winning. I haven't lost anybody yet. They've lost somebody. Okay, surround them. Surround them. Surround them. Okay. How do I uh There we go. Oh, I lost somebody. Oh, bollocks, I lost somebody. Oh, I lost two people. I lost two of my retinue. That's because they're fighting this whole army on their own. But they, they've managed to wipe out a couple of them. Only have one person from my retinue left. Uh, give ground, give ground. Okay. Honestly, don't know if this is going good. Okay. Push forward. Is this is this working? I don't I don't know if this is working. We're losing only a couple people. 
And we've already wiped out what? I want to say over half of them. And we've lost five. So like eight people. Losing eight people is not bad so far. I really want to get like some full on knights though. Like this is great. But I feel like like I need like full on knights. Ooh, we wiped out one. Oh, they're they're running. They're running. Well, oh, they're gonna run right through the center of my town is where they're gonna run. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Well, guys, uh, I think that. Uh, I think we can disband that unit for now, and also disband this unit for now. And I think we're also going to have to go through... Do I pick up their armor and stuff? Or... Or what? I, I, I have, like, all these corpses over here. Well, for now, I guess, let's build a corpse pit. And let's build this kind of far away from the base, I guess. We'll build it, like, over there. We won! Heck yeah, dude, we won! Um, what does it say? Family members join, enemy unit spotted, but it doesn't say anything about me winning. That sucks. Oh well. Oh well. Very good. Some people are injured. Some people have lost their lives, but we were victorious against the bandits. Apparently there's a shrine right here that I didn't even know was right there. That's neat. Alright, let's go through... Let's get to fast forwarding again, and hopefully, I don't know, what the, what are you, what are you, hold on, hold on, what are you carrying? Transporting a dead body, transporting a dead body. Oh, oh, they're grabbing our dead. Oh, yeah, I suppose it's probably a good thing you guys do that. Okay, how goes this up here? Burgage plots are still under construction. I need to let them go through and have a little bit of time to be able to build those. While I'm doing that, though, I'm going to come over here to this guy here, who is level 2, doesn't have anything going on yet. You, sir, are now going to be a cobbler. Congratulations. You have been upgraded to cobbler. I need somebody that's going to be able to work now, though. Mm, you hate to see it. All right. Uh, ooh, I don't have anybody in the stone cutter either. Let's do this. Uh, I'm going to go to the saw pit, and I'm going to remove off somebody from there. On the side, families need for construction work. Bodies need burial. Villagers require to be bur buried on hollowed ground. Raiders are to be dumped into the corpse pit. Well, get this corpse pit built, y'all. 25 people. 22 people now. All right, there we go. The corpse pit is pretty much done. They just need to finish digging it. Dang, this takes... They gotta... They gotta dig a heck of a pit. Alright. Let me look here. Uh, I need to... I'm gonna go to the logging camp, and for now I'm gonna pull somebody off. The saw pit, I pulled one person off, but I wanna keep that going, so I keep making my money. And... Tannery's fine that's fine to keep people at the trading post so we can keep making money um that's honestly all this is fine i just need to get more people building the burgage plots but the corpse pit is built now so now we can dump the dead okay well we we, we could have dumped the dead maybe we already did but, yeah, could have dumped the dead that were all right here, but they're all gone now. <laughs> they, they just, they magically disappeared mysteriously. So, that's a thing, I guess. Alright. So, the cobbler is built, which is great. They still need an upgraded church. And they still need a tavern. Which we can do. I want to have this guy here become a blacksmith? Ooh, war bows. That wouldn't be a bad thing. Let me do this. I'm gonna say you become a blacksmith. 
and you here become a Fletcher. Okay, now I'm gonna be able to get some more armor and stuff going. I still need more families. So, what I will do... Hmm. I'm gonna do this. I'm going to take you off of the church for right now. Oh wait, we have burgage plots built. Never mind, we're good. Do I have a family that's living here? No, I don't. Okay. So the actually, you know what? No, that's fine. That's fine. I have burgage plots here that are ready to go. We just need to wait for people to move into them. And I'm even going to press expand the living space on these. And once somebody moves in, then we will have people to do construction. So that's fine. That's fine for now. I I'm cool with that. Speaking of things being cool, how's our orchard going? Um, it doesn't look like that it's actually produced any sort of apples yet. The trees don't quite look big enough to start producing apples yet, but hopefully soon. All right. Cool. Let's now go through and get started to prepare to upgrade our church, prepare to upgrade our burgage plots and stuff like that. Let's take a pause and oh, look it. Oh, look at that. I got over a thousand. Okay. All right. Don't get too excited. I'm getting sidetracked. I'm getting sidetracked. It's going to take a pause. I'm going to go over to mining. I'm going to grab a mining pit and I'm going to throw it on top of that clay deposit that's up there. Then right across from it under for industry, I'm going to grab a clay. Not enough goods. Okay. So I need some stone in order to do that. All right. So we're going to let that clay pit get built. I need to put a family in there when I can. As soon as one moves it. Oh, these actually aren't built. I just realized those. Oh, no, they are. Wait, huh? Because I pressed upgrade on them. These should be built. You know what? You know what? It's fine. Let's do this. Pull you off. I'm going to pull the person off the granary for a minute and pull the person off the large storehouse for a minute. Oh man, I st I'm still missing. I'm still missing jobs here. Looks like they did end up completing the construction on a burgage plot here. I'm interested to see why I do. Oh, there is a family there. Okay. Hopefully, we can get some more families moving in here in a minute. There, that's enough stone for now. I'm gonna pull them off so that way that person can focus on doing some construction because we have two more burgage plots that need to get built here this one here has extra room so it can house two families i have enough food for 13 months okay All right, there. We have... I now have one more living space for people. Plus all sorts of extras, I think. People are starting to move in, which is great. So I have two here. Which, actually, this one, swimming out so long, that's going to be an apple orchard. This one right here is going to be a vegetable garden. It's a nice long veggie garden that'll get me lots of extra food. Now I need... Burgage plots level three or higher. Okay. All right. All right. So I need to wait a little longer. People to come in. While I'm waiting for people to come in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to construction, farming here. I'm going to look at barley. So this is where my main house is. So buying this spot up here, it has a rich iron deposit, which is good because I don't have a rich iron deposit yet. This one has another rich clay deposit. This one's trash. That one's trash for barley. That one's kind of trash for barley. So then there's this one, which has a rich stone deposit. I think I'm going to lean towards the rich iron deposit. And I think that I'm going to claim this land that's right here. Do you want to cl press claim towards this region? Yes, I am claiming it. I don't know how long this takes. But 
but we are trying to claim this up here as ours. As long as I can claim this, I'm going to build some big old barley farms up here is what I'm going to do. Then we're going to start producing a bunch of beer and it's going to be expensive, but we're going to have to pull in more people. We're going to have to build food infrastructure for them. We're, we're more or less going to have to build a whole second town here once we finish claiming this. But their main product product is going to be sending out barley and then the grains and then finally beer to be sent back to my main city so we can start getting all those upgrades processed. All right, so I have four extra families here. So really quick, I'm going to do something nice. I can quickly cycle between my commanded regions by pressing T. You'll love to see it. All right, let's put, go down to normal speed. I need to do some things. I need to put somebody back in a large granary. I need to put somebody back into the large storehouse. I have 46 war bows. All right. Fletcher shop. If you could just stop making war bows. You, you're, you're doing great, but you're making so many of them. I, I may have made a mistake. Um, I'm going to do this army wise. Put an army together. A new militia archer type. There we go. And then can I edit this? No, I just get to have 36 in the unit. Okay. Okay. Well, at least I'll have some bowmen in order to help me out in the in the past. And I have plenty of bows for them. So, yep, every household will now have an extra bow in case we need it. Good to know. How are we doing on family-wise? I still have two unassigned slots. How are we doing here? Uh, People-wise, two families living there. People-wise for this one, one no families living there. People-wise for this one, no families living there. People-wise for this one, no families living there. Okay, I'm going to quickly expand the living space on this one so you know it's got the farm. And then I'm going to take a break completely from Waldebrand which I'm actually going to go through and rename really quick to what we had the other one renamed to before, which is Nuketown. Okay. I'm going to close that window and then we're going to come up over here and then the spirit of fallout. I'm going to click here and we're going to rename this guy. We're going to rename this to. We're going to name it to oop, diamond D there's a D there. There we go. Follow three, follow four. Recognized. You love to see it. All right. So let's see. This is going to have their own things, and I want them to be all about brewing and maybe even armor craft. Armor craft could be nice. Better deals. Looks like they don't really have anything for brewing. Maybe I'll do apiaries and other stuff, but for now, this is fine. Let's take a look here. I'm going to go building wise. I'm going to go to administration and I'm going to grab a settler's camp. And I'm going to put the settler's camp. I need 250 wealth. Okay. How do I get wealth? Your personal money used collected from taxes can be used for diplomacy, hiring retinue and mercenaries, as well as settling in new region, build a manor and enable taxation. Ah, sorry guys. Can't build you quite yet. I'm going to have to come down here and I'm going to have to do some taxing. I hate to do it, but guys, I need I need to do a little bit of tax. You know what? I'm, I'm going to need to do a 20% tax for a little while. You hate to do it, but you got to see it. I need the money so that way we can go and build the new area and start giving you guys beer. Just think of it like this. You're investing in your liquor filled f future. New family moved in, new family moved in, new family moved in. Fantastic. So that's all good. That's all coming together nicely now. What I'm going to do really fast, I think, is I'm going to... I have plenty of workers here. I'm going to build another farm. And I'm just going to bring it up like this. It's a decent sized farm. I'm going to put that in. 
And it should be harvest time. Yep, okay, there's harvest time, there's harvest time, there's harvest time. I'm gonna change this to rye, and then crop rotation, like that. Actually, you know what? There we go. That'll help them go through, produce some more rye there, get a little bit more bread going. These guys still have some stuff they're producing. Looking at this, I still have 57 flour in here. So let's throw another person to the communal oven, get a little bit more bread being baked. Because I cannot do this yet. I cannot do that to get Ek produces bread from flour with twice the efficiency of the communal oven. I can't do that yet. And honestly, I need to go to deep mining Enables the product to extract resources indefinitely placed over a rich deposit. I want to get that. I really, really want to get that. Because I have this clay up here, right? But, in order to get said clay out and not overuse it, that's 3,000 clay. That's a lot of clay, but I don't want to overdo it. Okay. Okay, what do I need here now? In order to upgrade you, I need 10 timber. Apparently, I sold through all my... Somebody working planks there, so that's fine. Um, and... I have the planks going out, which is fine. And then I'm going to need... Oh, look at that. I already got 115 bucks. You'd love to see it. I'm going to need my industry. I'm going to need my clay furnace. And I'm going to need to put that guy in right about... Let's put it over here with the rest of the production. I'm going to put that right about there. And then I'm also going to put in... A mine. To get this stuff up. And then I'm going to finally put in a bloomery. Over here. So there's a tannery, a bloomery the clay furnace, a new mining pit that we're going to install that's going to give us that. Oh good, it's all it's all coming together. Here, let's increase the size of this place a little bit more. You can only get one more family. Are you I see somebody living there. How about here? Two families living there. Get that one expanded. I may build some housing up here. Let's do... I'm going to do this. I'm going to... This isn't the best idea. But I'm going to come up here. And I'm going to put burgage plots right here. And this is going to be kind of like... Uh, well... One, two... I do... Two, three, four, five. That's going to be ten more families. And they have small areas in the back. Let's do that. I'm going to put them in up there. Okay. Winter's coming. I have 12 months of food. The communal oven, there's nothing inside. The windmill's got nothing in it. This has got 200 flour. And this guy's got a bunch of rye in it that just needs to be broken down. So I'm not super concerned about that. Where's our little oxen pal? Are we just behind on that? Alright. Alright, here. Let's do this. I want to set up another ox and a, ch a hitching post and i'm gonna put it can i yeah i'm gonna put it right there i'm literally gonna give this one directly to the farm here i'm gonna put one like right next to it so that way it always has one yeah because see there he goes right now but if i can get a third one right you hear me out you feel what i'm stepping in that didn't come out right at all, but that's fine. It's fine, I guess. If 50 clay mined there. Let's look at the clay furnace. Hmm. 
I got 290 in the treasury now. I just realized that. So let's do this. I'm going to go back to the manor. I'm going to take my taxes. I'm going to pull my land tax back. That's going to make people happier. I'm going to pull that land tax back. And then I'm going to come up here and we're going to start up some stuff. So let's... I got no approval rating or anything up here. I got nothing up here. I can't do anything up here yet. So I need to build a settler's camp. And I'm going to put it, say, right there. Oh, I can give them stuff. Modest, average, plentiful. Oh. But I have to... Oh. Oh, I have to save up more money in order to do that. Okay. All right. Well, we'll just have to save up a little bit more money before we do that. Interesting. And five families. Five free families up there, too. That's nice. That's really nice. Okay. So I'm just going to I'm just going to sign that off for right now. We've done some good work here, but I want to get I want to get some some last minute stuff made here. Cuz we've done some good work here so far. We've gone through and we have built all sorts of new burgage plots. We have defended against raiders and thrown thrown all their bodies into our corpse pit. We have upgraded the remaining buildings, started a cobbler, started a blacksmith, started a fletcher. So now we're starting to get a whole bunch of, you know, extra equipment and stuff like that. We're going to start getting weaponry, tools, stuff like that. Like, for instance, this blacksmith that's right here. I could tell him what to make. It's iron, two iron slabs to make a sidearm, one iron slab and some planks to make some spears. I can make some pole arms if I wanted to. All these can be created so that way we can start getting ready for the next time we're going to get raided. That's what we set ourselves up with today. So in the next one, guys, we are going to focus on upgrading our tavern, getting this guy up here built by taxing the crap out of our people so that way we can start getting an area built up here in order to start producing beer. And then we are going to ship that on down here and get some decent progress made. Get a whole bunch of our burgage plots leveled up. Level up our town into a large village. And I think at that point, I think I win my scenario technically. But that's not where we're going to stop. So thank you all so much for watching this one. I hope you liked it. If you did, hit that like button for me. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that already. And also, leave a comment down below. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in the next one.